What up, players? It's Monday, February 27, 2012, and the month is almost over. Uh, March 26th will be my one-year anniversary of my YouTube channel, so look forward to recording something there. I should have some videos from my improv class, so grad night's coming up in March as well, and I'll be performing, perform, performing at the San Jose Improv, okay? So make sure you guys come! Um, but, um... That'll be freaking awesome, because it's been my dream to perform on that stage. Um, it'll be on Sunday, so if you're not doing anything, the date will the date will follow. Come support your uh, PX, your local PX, Post Exchange, me, and uh, hopefully you get a good laugh. But this weekend came and went. I mean, the week beginning, I'm sorry. The week beginning came and went. It's just never long enough. I got my nails done, got some laundry done, went to my comedy class, which I think I bombed on, so I got to think of some new material to come up with, and uh, I did a photo shoot, photo shoot with my family, me and my cousin, I mean my cousin, uh, my friend from, whoa, my, look at this bus, he just totally cut me off, um, yeah, douchebag, he like signaled and then stopped signaling, so of course I start moving up and then he freaking cuts me off, and it's a bus, but anywho, um, my friend from high school uh, ended up doing photography, and so we entered in a contest. We got third place, and we uh, did the photo shoot yesterday, and it was freaking freezing. And of course, our three-year-old, our three-year-old, our two-year-old fell asleep, so we had to like wake her up. And then finally, we woke her up. And usually, she's kind of like, eh, but you know, she actually did a, a pretty good job. They're all modeling and stuff. So check out my Facebook. Check out the pictures there. Uh, Facebook.com/standuppx. The link will lead you to Ainsley Photography. So special shout out to Ainsley Photography for doing an awesome job on some good photos on a beautiful family, which is us. Um, but yeah, and special shout out to DJ Reflecta Holleration. I'm PX and I know DJ Reflecta. She's the bomb. If you don't know her, check her out. I know Reflecta, DJ Reflecta. She's on my Facebook and she's also on my YouTube channel. But um, I don't know. When I got my nails done, I I usually go to a regular place, but I don't even go that much anymore, because ever since I've been able to do my own nails, yeah, check those out, bitches. Yeah, bitches at the salon. Yeah, I can paint my own freaking nails. Yeah, that's Hello Kitty. Yeah, you got that. You guys see that. And uh, when I walked in there, they were all quiet. And that's how it is any time I go to any nail salon. It's quiet. It's dead silent. It's like a ghost town. Like, all of a sudden, like, no one speaks any language, right? And I'll see tumbleweed fly by. But, um, as I walk in, these ladies sit me in, and it's a shithole, to top it off. It's in the ghetto, which, you know, I live in the ghetto, so it's alright. So I was kind of expecting it to be a hole in the wall. But they didn't even, I mean, they, the lady did my toes, she, she did the alright job. And then the lady did my nails. After I take off my nail polish, she freaking filed my nails crooked. Who freaking does that? And I don't, I can't tell because the nail polish is on, right? Um, but never again, I'm never getting any other nail people to paint my own nails when I can do my, do them for free, for myself. But what I will do is go and get a manicure. Never there again. Never. Never. Because I'm sitting there, right? And the lady asks me, like, Oh, you Vietnamese? Are you Filipina? And I'm like, Oh, I'm V. And then she was like, V. Filipina. Because that's what V means in Vietnamese. And she goes, oh, and then all of a sudden there's, like, a loud uproar in the salon, because, like, now they're all talking kinds, all kinds of shit, like, oh, this bitch thought, she, thought, thought, you know, not this bitch, well, we thought this bitch was one of us, but obviously she's not one of us, she's actually Filipino. And then they're like, oh, you understand? I'm like, no, I don't understand, I used to actually hang out with a lot of Vietnamese people, so I can grasp words. So then sometimes I go to the nail salon, and they'll be like, me dan, me dan, which means black, or me chang, me chang, means white. Fee, fee, with Filipino, you know? And then some of them are nice, where they'll be like, oh, that's cool, you know, they'll chop it up with me. But I think it's super rude when you go somewhere. It doesn't even matter if it's a salon. If you go somewhere, and people are purposely speaking a different language in front of you, knowing that you don't understand the language. I have Filipino people doing that to me, and I understand what they're saying. And sometimes it's not loud enough to, for me to actually hear. That's why I don't trust Filipino bitches. Actually, I'm sorry. I don't trust Asian bitches. Asian bitches that speak a different language, I don't trust. But one day, watch, I will be loud enough to hear. I, not I'll be loud enough. My hearing will be better for me to hear all these shit talkers. So all you freaking shit talker females out there, fuck you. I can do my own damn nails. And uh, like it, love it, share it, comment down there. But not down there. Deuces, guys.